Hello, good people. This is Muhammad Ishtiak Islam, working as a software engineer in AppScore. Today, we are going to discuss how customizable auto backup works in QStash, and we will give a quick demo. Finally, we will keep a QA session. Let's see the table of contents. Here, at first, we will discuss what is auto backup. Then, we will go through what is uh, backup blueprint then demystify enhancements and streamlined uh, auto backup process and at last we will uh, keep a QA session. So let's start with the basics. Uh, what is auto backup? QBStash uses a uh, one-to-one -one mapping uh, between backup configuration and target. So whenever we want to backup a target like a uh, workload, PVC or database we have to create a backup configuration object this could uh, become tiresome when we are trying to backup uh, similar type of objects and the backup configuration has only slight difference to mitigate this problem uh, qbstash provides um, a way to specify a blueprint for the backup configuration object uh, via backup blueprint crd in qbstash terms we call this process auto backup. Then what is backup blueprint? A backup blueprint is a Kubernetes custom resource definition, uh, also known as CRD, which specifies a blueprint for backup configuration in Kubernetes native way and can be used with different variables that can be resolved with annotations. Here, I, uh, I have attached a, a YML for backup blueprint. We can see uh, in the spec section, uh, we are using users policy, uh, which specifies a policy of uh, how this backup blueprint will be used. For example, we can use allow um, allowed namespaces um, policy to restrict the uses of the backup blueprint to uh, particular namespaces. Then we, uh, we can provide a backup configuration template. Uh, this is specifies the template uh, for the backup configuration created by the backup blueprint. Then we can provide namespace, which specifies the namespace of the backup configuration and backends. Backends refers to the backend refer, uh, reference uh, which we have used in the backup configuration. I uh, I assume that you have uh, you are uh, familiar with backup configurations, so I will not uh, discuss this further. Then sessions we have also used sessions in the backup configuration. Here we can give the list of sessions. Then deletion policy. Here deletion policy specifies whether uh, the backup configuration will be deleted on backup blueprint deletion. Uh, that means if you provide uh, on delete, that means if uh, backup blueprint is deleted, then the backup configuration will be also deleted. But this field is optional. So if uh, we don't provide deletion policy, then the backup configuration will not be deleted on the deletion of backup blueprint. Okay. So now we will demystify uh, enhancements. At first, we will discuss about pass arbitrary variables via annotations. So in Stash, uh, we, uh, we know that uh, we only can provide a very few number of uh, variables by, uh, by uh, via annotations and uh, uh, that, uh, that restrict our uh, many features to use uh, in future. But in QBStash, we can uh, pass the arbitrary variables via annotation. So uh, this limitation is uh, is not a problem for uh, uh, QBStash. And that's why if we want to use uh, different storage and uh, retention policy, then we need to create a new backup blueprint in Stash. But in QBStash, we don't need this thing. Just we can provide the arbitrary variables via annotations. Then pass subset of sessions via uh, annotations. That means we can also uh, give the uh, annotation. Uh, we can also provide the subset of uh, sessions in the annotation uh, which we want to use in the backup configuration. 
then provide better control over backup process. That means uh, the deletion policy, uses policy, that also uh, and the annotations uh, that we are using as variables in the backup blueprint that uh, uh, provide more uh, control over uh, backup resources or backup process. Then let's see the streamlined auto backup process. At first, user will create backup storage, then the user will create backup blueprint and the workloads. Then Kibistash operator will uh, resolve the backup blueprint uh, by watching the workloads and uh, the blueprint will be resolved. Uh, the variables uh, used in the blueprint uh, will be resolved uh, from the annotation used in the workloads. Then the uh, Kibistash operator will create backup configuration. And from this part, the normal backup process will be uh, applied. So let's dive in the live demonstration to uh, uh, to uh, to discuss this uh, to see this process uh, briefly. So uh, in here, uh, in this terminal, uh, I have I am watching uh, snapshots in demo namespace, then backup session in demo namespace then backup configurations in demo namespace. And in this terminal, I am watching backup blueprint in demo namespace. Here, I am watching pods in demo namespace. Okay. At first, uh, I want to show you uh, who is backup, uh, backup storage I'm uh, using. For simplicity, I have already uh, applied backup storage. So let's get this one. Okay, we can see we are using uh, GCS, that means uh, Google Cloud Storage for our backends, and uh, we are using the bucket name as QStash and the prefix is demo. So we can see here is the bucket is QStash and the demo prefix. So in this point, we will apply the backup blueprint. Uh, let's see our backup blueprint at first. Mm, this is our backup blueprint we are going to apply. And uh, the name of the backup blueprint is given as simple uh, blueprint. And uh, the user's policy is given all. So we can use this uh, uh, in all namespaces and the configuration template uh, we are using the deletion policies on delete that means if we delete the backup blueprint then the corresponding backup configuration will be deleted then we are using uh here the backends the i have given the name of the backend i am using that gcs storage and the sessions here uh, you can uh, you can see we are using the variable name. That means for uh, different tar uh, target workload, we are um, using different repositories, and it will be provided via workload annotations. Also, the directory name. I am uh, using the variables to uh, provide the. Uh, variable names uh, and the variable values and the path also. So let's apply this backup blueprint. Here we can see the sample backup blueprint is created. So let's uh, apply some workloads. At first I want to apply a stateful set. So let's see the YML of the stateful set. Here we can see uh, we are going to apply a sample STS that's the stateful set and the annotations here, uh, the first two annotation blueprint.qstash.com uh, slash name represent the name of the backup blueprint and the namespace here, the blueprint.qstash.com slash namespace represent the demo uh, namespace of the uh, backup blueprint. And uh, the below four uh, annotations uh, that represent uh, the uh, variables uh, that are we are using in the blueprint 
and uh, here the variables name are target name name is this uh, repo name and the paths target name uh, i i keep this target name as our workload name uh, sample sts and the name is space of the workload and also the repo name is uh, repo name i have given this uh, value and for paths i am i keep the path that i have mount okay so let's apply this stateful set Here we can see the ports are running as I have used the replica number two. So two ports are running for a stateful state. And we can see the backup configuration has been created as the annotation was provided. So the backup configuration is created for the stateful state. So let's get the backup configuration. Check if the all the data are uh, is set correctly. Okay, here we can see the paths, the value of the path is set uh, correctly and uh, the repository name and the directory of the repository, are uh, all the data are correct. So this is, uh, we can see the backup configuration is created successfully and uh, it will trigger within two minutes and uh, uh, as we have kept the schedule two minutes so in the meantime uh, we can see our next workload we are going to apply and it is a uh, demo set so let's check the yml of the demo set okay uh, I have uh, kept the name as testing and uh, name is in demo. And here the annotations, I have used the name of the backup blueprint and the name is space. Uh, the first two annotations represent the backup blueprint and the further uh, annotations represent the variables here, the target name. I have kept the target name as the testing uh, as the name of the demo. Uh, demo set and the name space of the demo set and the repo name i have uh, changed the uh, repo name uh, in uh, in stateful set uh, i have used uh, demo storage zero and here i have used the demo storage one as uh, for our uh, demo set and the path is the mount path uh, that i i am going to uh, back up so let's apply this one okay before applying the demo set we can see the backup session was triggered and it was it is successful so we can say the backup is uh, succeeded as the uh, backup configuration was created successfully and the backup session is succeeded so the backup is succeeded we, uh, then we can see the um, snapshot to see the uh, data if all data is correctly configured Okay, we can see here uh, port one, uh, port zero, and port one is the component name and uh, the and the uh, data uh, backup data are uh, set correctly. Here we can see the path, the repository path, and uh, the host path, whose path we have taken backup. Okay and uh, also we can check this in the back end so let's check if all the data are correctly uh, uploaded in the back end here we can see the demo name space and the name of the uh, workload which was uh, sample sts and in this repository we can see the uh, repositories uh, that are uh, used in the uh repository path and backup every in two minutes that represent the uh, session name and here we can see the uh, uh components here two components are used as uh, the stateful set was uh, uh the number of replicas in the stateful set was two so here 
are the components and here is the um, uh, encrypted data okay let's uh, apply for uh, apply the demo set to uh, create a new backup configuration uh, from backup blueprint okay here we can see the uh, testing uh, part of the demo set in the running phase and a new backup configuration is created so let's check the data are corrected or not okay here we can see uh, the repository in the repository uh, the directory uh, the value of the directory is set uh, correctly uh, demo slash testing and the name of the repository also correct so all the data are uh, set correctly and here we can see uh, two running backup sessions that means uh, to, uh, for two backup configuration uh, the uh, there are corresponding backup sessions are running uh, one for demo set here we can see the name and one for stateful set okay the demo for the demo set the backup is succeeded and uh, for stateful set uh, the backup is succeeded also so let's check if the data is uploaded in the backend here uh, we can see till now we have only the uh, one repository that for stateful set so here we can also uh, see the um, demon set repository so let's refresh this one yes here we are uh, we can see that that uh, uh, repository for demon set is created and here uh, we can see the component name for the uh, demo set and here is the uh, encrypted data so the backup is successful for demon set so this is the uh, uh, way to create a multiple backup configuration via backup blueprint and it is uh, it can be configured uh, via um, uh, multiple uh, via uh, arbitrary number of uh, uh, variables uh, and we can resolve these variables in the annotation of the uh, target so for pvc and data uh, database uh, we can also create uh, this backup configuration uh, from backup blueprint uh, we just uh, create a backup blueprint and uh, keep the annotation in the uh, target uh, target uh, annotation field then the backup configuration will be created or, or will be created automatically uh, automatically so uh, so uh, this uh, thing uh, is uh, this uh, auto backup process works this way so this was our demo and uh, now if uh, you have any question regarding our auto backup process uh, then you can ask now okay uh, i think uh, you have no questions so uh, thank you everyone for being with us